Jared's IT department. Many, many people have tried accessing it and today is the day we finally do it. This place is not happy uploaded another video, probably its last one, but we got tons and tons of new videos and new lore. Let's start with all the information we can get from the YouTube video and move on with the videos in the IT department on the Happy Meat Farms website later. As the video talks about Antonio and Victoria, there are some very fast moving shots and taking a look at them one by one results into finding old host messages. Putting together all the encoded text pieces we get this. We use a Caesar cipher, shift the alphabet by three letters and we get phase one complete, host shows no resistance, offer editing job. This very likely is Antonio's host message. Victoria's host message can be found just like Antonio's, putting text pieces from the video together and using RRT3. Host shows little resistance. Off. Begin phase 2, scouting out next host. Host resisting planting spore, apply physiological pressure. Now, here's what I think about the part where it just says off. For Antonio it said, offer editing job. And I think for Victoria it says something like, offer directing job. Also, the video talks about how Victoria has a strong phobia of hair, and the video also said HMF should give her a present. That explains the hair room from the HR portal. This room was designed to test genetically modified human hair cells that would grow from behind walls or in the ceiling. This prototype was later used to successfully recondition a host who had a childhood trauma involving hair. And the part of Victoria holds another secret. Take a look at what that device displays. YouTube video ID. You know the drill. I stood there in front of my reflection and asked the question, what do you want? And my reflection responded with only one word. After watching, you might wonder what word the reflection replied. Speeding the video up will give you this. It's from the song More by Andy Williams, but that's not the important point here. The reflection probably replied that it wants more. That's everything we can get from the video on YouTube aside from the IT department passcode. We see this picture in Antonio's part of the video, and this text is very important. By putting together all the typos, word capitalization and the number we see at the bottom, we get this code. That is the password to Jared's IT department, and we can finally access it. Upon visiting the website, you'll see lots of letters that are followed by four numbers. Test object names. Let's say you click on this one. You can play a video on that page. Jump scare warning ahead. Yeah, most of the videos are like this, but there are some, 13 to be exact, videos which give us more information. The first one comes from the link of G0007. Let's take a look. basically explains Carl's story from HMF's point of view. Then there's a video of H0015, but all it does is show us a scene where IT department files are stolen and we already saw that in the YouTube video. Then there's a video of A0001. Let's watch it. You probably think you're so clever, sharing these secrets, exposing our sins. Do you really think we care? Go ahead and release the IT files. I don't even care. Soon, none of it will even matter, and you will be digested. But hey, here's...
here's an offer. Because we're so generous, if you come back home and don't release the files, we'll make your death 30% less painful. Isn't that a good deal? I wouldn't say that's a good deal, but anyways. There's also a link of E0006, and upon clicking, it shows a newspaper article that talks about a family farming company that just opened, and on top of it, we can read the words, Don't let us down. Even though we all knew it, this newspaper confirms that the little girl Jared talks about in the YouTube video is Ramona. We can tell by taking a look at the little girl's name in the article. It does say Ramona, and the last name also adds up with HMF Ramona. There are also a bunch of videos of Jared just trolling the viewer, but they're funny, they're worth seeing, so have fun with Dumb stupid baby alert! I think somebody left behind their dumb stupid baby, but I don't blame them. Who would want a dumb stupid baby like you? You should have gotten here earlier! Now the files are gone! I wonder if your parents ever even loved you. Probably not. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> Looks like you've caught a computer virus. Uh oh, looks like you've caught a computer virus. Uh oh, looks like you've caught a computer virus. Uh oh, looks like you've caught a computer virus. Hello, it's me, Jared. I hope you weren't expecting to find all of our secrets because they aren't here anymore. Go away now. Why are you still wasting your time? Don't you have anything better to do with your day? Probably not. Then we have nine other videos of Jared telling us more of the little girl's story. These can be found by clicking on these test subjects. Now, get your popcorn and get comfortable, as Jared will tell you the full story of the five-year-old girl, Ramona. After the fire, the little girl was so lonely. Without her parents, it was hard to take care of the animals, and it was hard to take care of herself. The next day, the little girl felt very hungry. She was so hungry that she ate an animal raw. She ate so much that she threw up a new friend. The new friend said, if you feed me, I'll help you take care of the animals. So the little girl fed the new friend, and the animals were happy once again. Now, the little girl wasn't so lonely anymore, and soon she made friends with even more animals. She tried to tell all the animals that she loved them, but there were too many to tell. The little girl was beginning to get worried. One day, while the little girl was saying I love you to the animals, once again, the little girl tried to tell all the animals that she loved them, but then she discovered something strange. Some of the animals had turned into monsters. She tried to tell her new friend what she had discovered, but now the new friend looked different. Now the new friend looked familiar. She tried to ask her new friend to stop, but the little girl could still hear the screams. 
so she decided to continue. The little girl tried to run far away from the farm, but before she could, she too turned into a monster. Now the little girl was just like the animals. I wonder what her parents would think of her now. If you think that's all the new information we got, you're wrong. Very wrong. If you scroll down on the IT page, you find a red text that says Jared private file. If you click it, you'll see it's password protected. Getting this password is very easy. There is some black text under the link that reveals the password for Jared only. What are we going to see on this page? Other disgusting test subjects? Jared jump scares? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be dark. Yeah, this is Jared's IT file. This might seem funny at first, but this page hides something. By pressing Ctrl and A, you can see that there is some red text that says Archive, and upon pressing, we find the real IT file of Jared. And the first thing that caught my eye was the fact that Jared Warrenheim is a real person. He is certainly not a robot. Now, if you want to read it yourself, which I recommend you do, go ahead, but I'm going to sum it up really quick. Jared Warrenheim is an only child who grew up with his mother Margaret. She was verbally abusive and manipulative, and Jared always hated her. He was hired by Happy Meat Farms in 2016 as a computer technician. He was the first host to ever have a muse. The spore was put into the ventilation system. It started with the muse telling him his mother doesn't love or support him, as you can hear in the following audio file. After his muse manipulated him enough, he called his mother to come to his workplace and push her inside of mother's chamber. Right in the middle of digestion, Jared said, she still loves me, and somehow stopped the process. The second digestion, however, was a success, and muse J0001 proved to still be useful in the IT department, so they mechanized its limbs in order for it to function effectively. That's about the backstory of Jared. There are still two hidden lines on this page. There's one under the text that explains how Jared saved his mother, saying, who would have thought he had it in him? And then there's another one under the text that talks about Jared getting his mechanical limbs. It says, how I obtained perfection. We finally got to see the IT department, Jared in his backstory, Ramona and her backstory. This huge part was very interesting in my opinion. Now that there are no more passcodes on Happy Meat Farms, I assume we know everything the website can tell us. And now that we have all the information we can get and need, we are ready for Don't Feed the Muse 3.